say, thinking of starting a business, you decided that this year is the year you want to employ yourself or you want to employ other people and you want to start your own business. But when you look at your finances, you only have 20,000 shillings and you're wondering, is this going to be enough to start a business this year in this economy? Let me give you some good news. It is actually more than enough. So hi guys, my name is Fiona and if you're new to the channel, you're so welcome. So in this video, I have compiled for you five businesses that you can start with only 20,000 Kenya shillings. The first business that I want to tell you guys about is starting a phone accessory business. In this digital age, almost everyone has a smartphone and that means people are going to need accessories for these phones. Accessories that I'm talking about are things like screen protectors, back covers, chargers, phone cables, earphones and so much more and these accessories are actually really cheap just go to places like dubois places like nyamakema where they sell these things at wholesale and i promise you these things are really cheap I usually go down there to get accessories for my phone and i get things like screen protectors the glass ones at only 400 bob i bought an oraimo cable last year and it is a really good cable and it's a c2c cable type c2c cable and i got this cable at about 250 bob or 200 bob and i'm telling you it is a good one up to date i have not had any problems with it so when you go down there and you get good stuff you can get really unique stuff at wholesale and imagine me getting them at this price i'm not buying at wholesale me i'm buying to juna by kamoja kamoja so they're not really selling to me at wholesale sika wewe mwenye you're going and you're not going to buy just one you're going to buy plenty for your business this can be a really good business with just ten thousand bob you can have more than enough stock to start up this business and the remaining 10,000 bob you can look for small premises if you have gone to town or even around Chumtani and you've seen where they sell these phone accessories they don't have big shops it's just a small space where you can display your goods and where you yourself can get somewhere to sit so just a small space look for something about 5,000 look for premises that's about five seven thousand a month and just start there and that can be a really lucrative business especially in this digital age this is going to be a business that is going to continue getting better and better as more people even squeeze a deal show it to one atacama smartphones they want to whatsapp you they, they want to to video call so this business is going to get even better with years to come and you also don't actually have to have a premises the good thing with us being in the digital age you can have your business online just display your goods online buy unique stuff sell at competitive prices and let me tell you people will buy from you not everyone has the time to go see look shop source and if you want to be really like competitive especially if you're selling online go and look for unique stuff don't sell things that everybody else is selling look for unique stuff and people are really definitely going to buy from you so this is one business that you can start and twenty thousand is more than enough for you and the second business that i want to tell you guys about today is opening a fruit and vegetable stand with the rise of people wanting to live an organic life eat healthy there has been a huge boom in the organic food business everyone wants to be healthy sick easy i don't know if you have seen you know people want to live better lives people want to live healthier and so people are opting for more organic foods so you can get a fruit and vegetable stand you can actually create a good stand create your own stand somewhere Paint it well, some good green, yellow, just some colors that look organic. And then go get your fruits. If you're in Nairobi, go get your fruits in Marikiti. In Gyokondani, kuna places where they even sell grapes. They sell these kiwi fruits. Do some unique foods. Do some unique things. There's a lady friend of mine, just up Karibu Tunakwango, where I always go and buy unique stuff from her. And let me tell you, this lady has hit the nail on the head. Because Ukukwetu, everyone is just selling the normal things. Skuma, cabbage, nyanya kitungu. This lady diversified. Her, she sells things like lettuce, okra, 
uh, broccoli yani this unique stuff that now people want to start eating this purple cabbages yani just some healthy stuff so me i want because even me i'm trying to live healthy and i'm trying to lose weight na kuanga hapo kila saa and also i love eating fruits so mimi na mtu wa fruits mpaka tunajua na we even friends and let me tell you that guy does well way way that guy does well once the wangu when you go there jioni na you be there and i was give it to mob in fact the one thing that is a top seller kwa duka yake na si duka i'm telling you ni stand in fact i miss mama to post stand next na mama mwingine wa fish the one thing that sells like hot cake kwa home say watermelon miss jizo watermelon yake yote wa wapi but they are so delish and i'm telling you you go there around 5 6 pm kuna kwanga na line ya watu people are there wengine wameshachukua wame they're standing on the side eating wengine wanasimama hapo wakikula wengine wanachukua mateka wewe wakiindaga and let me tell you this guy is doing well this guy is doing well alianza peke yake he went on brought his brother no there are two of them because when traffic gets busy especially irashawa majioni he's so busy that hata anachanganikiwa so he brought someone to actually help him and let me tell you this business is going to get even better what what ya chakukula i always say food business is always a good business but now going the organic route is a good business and 20000 is more than enough to start this business you can go get your fruits at 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 when you know because food is something that is perishable utaki kuanza na so much stock since have to mingi alafu zianze kukuharibikia so you can be buying your stock slowly by slowly at when zianza na stock ya 5k so that also your business can be jaji siku ya this juni kitaka hiyo hakuna mtu akitaka siju hii oh hasina so you can start well at a stock maybe even at 10000 and then these are the 10000 if you're feeling like hey mimi saki hasuli ya kuka kwa kwa kibanda ama ama place inje i want somewhere where i can even lock my things at the end of the day and go home you can even get yourself a shop shop get yourself a shop don't go too fancy sio ndio kwenda kuchukua duka ya mawe hapana biashara itaki fanciness and everything like that be humble mungu akuinue just get a ka kibanda or just like a, 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 a space just a good space where you can lock your things in the, at the end of the day and this can be anywhere between 3 to 5000 don't get too expensive rent usitake pesa yako yote faida irudingi kwa rent so get somewhere 3 to 5000 bob a month place your things there get this unique foods this unique organic things this unique organic vegetables this unique fruits things that si kila mtu anauza yeah usiku usiku sepia zile zenye kila mtu anauza because also people love them bring your mangoes bring your avocados bring your tomatoes but also bring this unique things go look for this organic thing because people are also diversifying in what they eat people are no longer just eating juice skuma na cabbage people are diversifying what ones are kukula different things people are starting to change the way they are eating and this can be a really good business and so still in the food business the third business i want to tell you about is starting a smoky and eggs business now you might think that ah, this business maybe it's not just for me because like you kanga mahali nje na smama na trolley let me tell you ha ah, let me tell you my na eh this business is booming business ya smocha it's booming people love eating smochas si watu wazima si watoto everybody and this business is doing really well and with this business you don't need a lot to start this business and if actually you're feeling like hey it's too much of a hassle for you and you don't want to do this business get someone employ someone in that business smoky na mayai is very simple because you can count them and you can actually know niliyeka pa smoky 50 niliyeka pa mayai tre moja so at the end of the day when you find less you know how much you're counting on you know how much you are expecting and uh smoky smocha business you can go to juakali and get your 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 trolley this trolley where they they keep them you can go to juakali and get them and these things are not expensive i've been to juakali before just to research and to find out is it was a fast food how much do they cost and i'm going to do a video soon 
of how much you need to actually start a fast food business or like you know a, a small fast food business to buy your smokies go to kmc but koko juakali there's that kmc there and uh, they sell these things in wholesale you can also go to farmer's choice and get these products in wholesale at good prices and they're not expensive and you don't have to start with a lot of stock especially kauna freezer where you can keep them where you go by every few days you your stock so that we to pay the still you want to sell your customers fresh stuff so you don't need a lot of money to start which is about i don't know 400 bob so this can be a good business and the good thing with this business you actually don't need a premises Get to know your local area or where you're thinking of starting this business. Get to know who you need to talk to. Kama ni mwenyana sinomianga your area. And talk to them. If there's a fee you need to pay at the end of the day, maybe a hundred bob. Or however much you guys agree on. That is okay. And you can just go ahead and start your business. And this business has a lot of potential. A lot of potential. Because a lot of Kenyans love eating the smochas. And they have potential to grow even in the coming years and even right now they're actually doing really well so if you have a 20,000 and you are considering it it is more than enough to start this business so the next business I want to tell you about is starting a printing business now a printer costs anywhere about 7,000 Kenya shillings and a roll of printing papers costs about 400 bob so if you have a desktop especially or a laptop this can be a really good business because uh, with only 7,000 and let's say 7,500 including the rolling papers, you can start your business. Now the remaining 12,000, you can use this money to get yourself a small premises. Look for somewhere with a lot of food traffic, with a lot of maybe offices or colleges, schools, places where people will want to be doing some printing work. And this can be a really good business. It doesn't cost you much once you've bought your printer and your printer will come with the inks. You'll maybe later on have now to, to buy the inks. But this will be much, much later. And this can be a really good business. It doesn't cost much to start. With only 20000 you will be well into your business. Start well. Get yourself a small premises. If also you've seen people who do this printing or photocopying business, this is a small space where you can put your machine where you can put your chair and where people can come and give you their documents and you print for them or where they can come and tell you I want to print this and the other and you can do it for them. With Wi-Fi, if you need Wi-Fi to start this business, kunata Wi-Fi ya sambaza and you only pay a thousand bob a month for it or two thousand depending. And so the fifth business that I want to tell you about is that you can start a small barber shop. Now, a shaving chair will cost you about five thousand. A shaving machine will cost you around two thousand bob. And you can use about 3,000 bob to make your place look good, get some mirrors, get some more equipments that you might need, etc. You will still be remaining with a whole 10,000 bob. And this 10,000 bob, you can use to rent yourself a small premises. Like we said, we're starting businesses, so we're not going for very expensive shops. shops, container shops, you know not really easy duka za mawe and even you can get even kaduka kamawe but just a small one um a reasonable size don't go for something very expensive so that pesa ko tis kuna rudingi kwa rent so you can get a shop ranging for at least 5000 kenya shillings and with this money you will have enough for even rent deposit or if you even talk to your landlord you can just pay rent for one month the rest used to get maybe a license maybe some extra things that you might need in the business and this can be a really lucrative business people will always shave their heads and uh, i think shaving heads in which day you but i'm guessing costs you know about 100 bob or 50 to 100 bob and to say in a day you shave about 10 people you've gone home with your clean 500 bob you're not sharing this money with anybody it's your money and let's say even in good days i'm a, I'm a to me it's 100 bob you're going home with your a thousand bob you know so it can be a really good business considering you only invested uh, 20 000 kenya shillings to start this business 
by the end of about two months you have made back your money and now you'll start now be keeping profit you'll be keeping profit and you'll be able to employ yourself or employ others to say mona sema miss jukunyoa ama sineta interest ya kujukunyoa there are many young guys who are looking for jobs for being a baba so you don't have necessarily to be the one to do it if you don't know how to do it or if you're not interested in doing it you can employ someone so this can be a really really good business and also if you yourself you know how to shave people but you don't have uh, the money or you, you feel like you cannot get this much money or you can't be able to get these premises and you can't start this business well just with your shaving machine but your shaving machine your spirits your nini those things that are needed to shave someone you can start offering your services mobile you can tell people that i will come and shave you at your house and don't want that hi nani atakubali nikam nyewe kwake let me tell you there are senior people who don't want to go out to a barber shop there are sick people kuna sick elders kuna even sick children the children who are sick and let me tell you that shave mtu ile kuka smart it even boosts you energy it boosts you morale makes you feel good so this can be a really good business and when you go to these people's house be kind uh do your job well and if you are really good at it these people can actually even recommend it to other people seniors know other seniors wale ambao no gonjwa they know other sick people because kuna patana who see wapi this that and the other and so this can be a good business and i want to give you a bonus business a bonus business that a lot of people don't know about if you have a good smartphone or even if you don't have a smartphone no kunizo 20000 and these these five businesses i've told you about you like I, i don't feel them let me tell you a business that is really good and doing really well in this digital age these days if you have a good phone you can take pictures and you can sell them online have you ever heard of something like that how good and how amazing is that people buy what they call stock photos stock photos are things like you go take pictures of food pictures of nature a lot of these sites especially in the west because most of them are not kenyan based they want to buy these stock photos so you can take pictures of nature pictures of food pictures of travel and go to train station railways pick a picture poor get a good smartphone get some good pictures high quality hd pictures and you can sell them on sites like iStock Pexels, Adobe Stock and they sell they buy these pictures really well. You will not become a millionaire or anything because when it comes to online businesses people think eh nda kwa millionaire haraka haraka pesa haraka zizi pesa haraka but ni pesa nonetheless. So this can be a good business and this is a bonus business that I'm giving you. So I hope you'll start any of these businesses and if you do please let me know in the comments. And if there's any business that I haven't touched on and you feel like hey this can be a, a good business I can advise people please advise people we are here to help each other we are here to say diana to ondoke poverty to ondoke mashida when we're all doing well even our economy will do better we we'll all do better so we are here to help each other and if you feel there's something I've not touched on and or you feel that there's something that you can advise people on please tell us in the comments let us know and so i'm so grateful to you guys for staying with me this far if you're new to the channel you haven't subscribed please subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful in any way i hope that you will give it a like give it a thumbs up i thank you i love you guys i'm praying for you i'm praying for your businesses may you do well may you prosper in everything that you do and if you're going to start any of these businesses please let me know how it goes other than that i love you guys stay tuned to the channel we're going to be exploring more businesses online based and physical businesses that we can start and employ ourselves so i love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me other than that i'll see you next time bye